Hi, my name's Chris. Welcome to my studio. I just got my new tube of Cascade Green by Daniel Smith in the mail and I'm so excited to try it out. I'm swatching out Cascade Green along with all the other colors on my palette. Let's get started. So I just purchased this new tube of Cascade Green by Daniel Smith. I'm really excited to use it. This is a beautiful color. It is a combination of PR7, which is basically a raw umber or a burnt umber, and PB15, which is a phthalo, a phthalo blue. I'm going to show you the combination of those two colors. And just, I'm going to swatch out a bunch of my favorite colors along with the Daniel Smith Cascade Green so you just get an idea what it looks like. I want to start out by just swatching out a nice swatch of the Cascade Green from a very dark application of it here across this area to a more washed out version of it so you can kind of see the full range of colors. Now, even when I be first put this down, you would almost think that there were um, that I had combined two different pigments or two different paints here in my combination because you can already see kind of green colors and then blues and a real mix of different pigments going on here. But that is the Cascade Green all by itself, and um, it just when it begins to settle into the paper, and I'm using a 140 pound. Uh, cold press arches as it just begins to settle into the paper it's a very granulating paint and you can already see the the granulation happening here and you can already see the colors just start to separate a little bit now again as I said earlier Cascade Green is a combination of PBR7 which is like a burnt umber and PB15 which is phthalo blue so I thought it'd be interesting to just take uh, those two colors I have pure pigments of uh, those colors like a PB7, PBR7 here again a burnt umber and put that here and then take a really another pure pigment a PB15 which is phthalo blue here and just see if I could bring these two colors together and kind of create an interesting mix of those two colors here together because again that is essentially um, what Cascade Green is is a mix of these two colors. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to achieve this very well here, mixing on the paper. But as you can see, uh, it is creating kind of this bluish green color, which is what Cascade Green is. And so again, I'm, I'm not creating a perfect uh, example of Cascade Green here, but you can see, hopefully, uh, the color of the camera is showing this pretty well. But there is a greenish hue and I think as it dries uh, as it dries you're going to see that a little bit more so again just to demonstrate or illustrate uh, Cascade Green is a combination of PBR7 PB15 creating this very rich uh, blue or greenish uh, bluish green color that you see here I've also decided to mix up those two colors uh, PBR7, PB15 on my palette there and much more uh, with a lot more water added and now you can just see those two colors combined in a wash. Now for the rest of this video I'm just going to take uh, and put down a application of my uh, Cascade Green on the left side of each of these squares, these rectangles and then I'm going to bring in another color off my palette just using some of my favorite colors uh, that I think might create interesting mixes with this Cascade Green. And so this is my new Gamboge. New Gamboge is PY97 and PY110. Uh, it's a very uh, warm yellow and really one of my favorite yellows. And um, we can see how those are kind of pushing those two colors together, creating kind of an interesting blend there of those two colors. Work that together a little bit more and um, seeing a real almost a green gold in here where the two come together. Pretty pretty. 
Uh, next, my uh, pure application of my uh, Cascade Green again here with now Nickel Quinacridone Gold, uh, which is uh, more towards the orange, still considered kind of a yellow color, um, but with much more orangey, reddish orange tones. And um, it is a quinacridone color, high, highly staining. And uh, nickel quinacridone gold is PO48 and PY150. And I think that's creating just really a gorgeous mix of colors in here. Almost a more of a phthalo green where they mix together. Next, my Cascade Green with quinacridone burnt orange. Um, again, this also has the PO48, like, a, like the nickel quinacridone gold, but it is almost more of a uh, burnt, sea, burnt sienna kind of color, which you can see there, very reddish orange. And so when these two, much darker color than the nickel quinacridone, and so when those mix, they really darken into a brown color here, much more almost like a burnt umber color where those two come together. It's really good to just mix all your colors, especially when you get a new paint like this. What I like to do is, is just uh, take that paint and really experiment by mixing it with all the other, or many of the other colors on my palette just to see what I get. So next I have a mix with Quinacridone Rose, um, which is PB19, a violet color. You can see it there, kind of a pinky red color. Wow, and as soon as those touch, you get almost a, a, a real violet or purpley color. Really gorgeous mix of colors in there. Next, I'm taking the Cascade Green. I'm gonna mix it with uh, Dioxazine Purple, which is PB23. So this would be more of a, a true violet or, or purpley, dark, very dark, pretty, pretty, uh, not really very transparent color, pretty opaque color, as you can see there. Interesting to see how those mix together. Oh, next mix is going to be uh, my Cascade Green with Ultramarine Blue, PB29, classic color, and. Uh, and we see that and how those now come together. Next, I have the Cascade Green with a green gold. So I've now moved all the way around my palette, kind of back through the, uh, I didn't mix with a lot of the other greens, but I wanted to mix with this um, very yellowish, green called green gold just um i thought that that would create some interesting foliage type colors green gold is py 150 and py3 and pg36 it's a combo of three different pigments and it's creating really some beautiful i can really see using cascade green with this green gold to create some really gorgeous colors for foliage landscapes and that kind of thing the way those two are coming together now I have the last two squares here are for mixing my Cascade Green with Indigo and Sepia. I like to mix my colors with the neutrals on my palette. And the two neutrals I currently have, uh, Indigo, which is more of a bluish neutral. It's made up of PB60, a blue uh, color, and PBK6, a black. And just a really beautiful mix of those two colors there. And last but not least, I'm going to mix my Cascade Green with Sepia, which again, I, as a neutral, but I consider this more of a brownish based neutral. It is P. PBK6, a black with PR101, a red color. Uh, but it's a very a beautiful uh, brownish, almost a burnt, kind of a burnt umber look to it. 
but it really is creating quite a, a black or dark brown there when they combine. So there are the nine colors that I chose to swatch together with Cascade Green. I'm gonna let these dry so we can see what they look like after they dry. And um, we also have learned here up above that Cascade Green is a combination of PBR7 and PB15. That's like a burnt umber and a phthalo blue. Let's let these dry. Okay, my painting, my paint is now all dried and I can already tell that I'm absolutely gonna love this new color, Cascade Green by Daniel Smith. Now that it's dry, you can really see the beautiful gradation of colors in here. There's greens, there's bluish colors, and there's even little flecks of kind of a golden uh, yellow color. That's the iron oxide, I think, from the PBR7. And as it dries, it's very granulating and semi-transparent. I love transparent, semi-transparent paints, and I also love granulating paints. And so that makes this a winner all around for me, Cascade Green. And I just wanted to show you what that looks like a little closer up. Uh, here we have, uh, again, the mixture of two pure pigments that I happen to have, PBR7, Burnt Umber, and PB15, Thalo Blue. And you can see now the combination I'm able to achieve by using those two colors independently and just mixing them myself. It's not really the same as the Cascade Green over here, um, but you can kind of see this, where, where that color comes from. Of course, they mix it in their... Um, in their laboratories under very strict conditions and they there's various qualities of PBR7 and PB15 that they must be mixing getting the color that they are but you can see what they, they come up with here and, and uh, you can see what I can come up with here somewhat close and then this is the same same combination of colors but just in a real washed out version of it and um, so it's really interesting you would never think you could take a brown and a blue and get green but it is possible uh, when you mix the pigments in the right way and that's what they've done here with cascade green and just a gorgeous color now as i go through the different mixes that i've created here uh just make some notes um again with the new gamboge here just a beautiful kind of a light green color almost a sap green that gets created in here with the mixture of these two colors uh, pretty. I, I really like the nickel quinacridone gold mix, but then that, that is one of my favorite colors. I use it a lot. Uh, this Again, it's a granulating color. You can see the granulation here. So now there's really, when you combine two granulating colors, you really get this really gorgeous kind of almost mottled uh, effect of the two colors coming together, creating just a con almost a cacophony of different colors. Uh, there's like almost brownish flecks in there, dark brown, orangey flecks, gold, uh, really blue, green. There's just, I mean, just these two colors that just combine, just create all this gorgeous color. And again, that's what I love. I love to see that kind of mixture of watercolors and the effects you can get, gorgeous. Uh, the burnt quinacridone, um, the quinacridone burnt orange uh, also does something similar because it also is somewhat granulating and, and there's this gorgeous, uh, it's kind of a coppery color here where the blue and the, co and the, and the orangey color come together. Uh, just gorgeous combination in my opinion. Um, again, the ultramarine blue and this makes some nice mixtures in here. Uh, the Dioxazine purple, I, again, Dioxazine purple is very opaque not very transparent so it, i i like it as a purple uh, it's pv23 um but i tend to like transparent colors so it often comes off as too opaque in my opinion but in here when you mix the colors you get some really pretty uh combinations uh quinacridone rose whenever i seem to mix this color pv19 with other colors it tends to really create blooms more so than other colors i'm not exactly sure why and it's done that here um and uh, it creates kind of a, a purpley color in between. Um, here again, the green gold, I said this earlier, gorgeous combination with these two colors to create foliage colors. Green gold on the one side and cascade green on the other, gorgeous. Uh, the indigo mixes quite nicely. Indigo is really my go-to color for a gray kind of color, I love it. And I think it mixes nicely in here, kind of becoming more subtle into kind of a bluish purple mix in between almost um yeah just really really pretty in there uh color combinations and then the sepia does similarly 
but creating more of a gray, um, greenish gray in here. So there you go. In my opinion, Cascade Green by Daniel Smith is definitely a color you should add to your palette. I think it's a beautiful color and I love its qualities and I love how it mixes with the other colors on my palette. I hope this video is helpful. If so, please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time. Thanks.